You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports and UNICEF of Cambodia have released a Technical National Learning Assessment Report, which reports alarming findings on the learnings loss experienced by Cambodian students due to the closures of the cause of by COVID-19 pandemic. EAC News reporter Deccan Nin has the story. The Ministry of Education and UNICEF Cambodia published the findings from a Grade 6 National Learning Assessment Report on Tuesday, April 5th. The study for the report compares data from the 2016 and 2021 National Learning Assessments conducted by the Ministry of Education. The data for the 2021 National Learning Assessment was collected in November 2021 with the support of UNICEF and other Capacity Development Partnership Fund partners. And the results of the analysis were first released in March 2022. More than 6,000 students across 230 schools in Cambodia were found to have fallen behind in their learning during the pandemic, according to the Ministry of Education Quality Assurance Department. In particular, comparing data from the 2016 National Learning Assessment, the percentage of students who failed to demonstrate basic proficiency in a Khmer language rose from 34 to 45%. And the subject of mathematics showed even worse results, with the failures increasing from 49 to 74%. During the 2020-2021 period, schools were closed for 250 days, which is the equivalent of almost two-thirds of the two school years. The report also reveals that although all students experienced learning loss from the school closures, the impact was not evenly distributed. Boys were found to have lost more learning and performed worse in testing compared to girls. The Minister of Education, Youth and Sports, Hong Jun Narong, has noted that these are worrying results. He further stated, we worked hard with all our parents to put in place remote learning measures for students when school were closed during the pandemic. The studies have shown that these did help to maintain learning for many, but the learning assessment results confirmed that these activities simply couldn't be enough to compensate for all that is lost by children when they are not learning in a classroom. According to a press release from UNICEF, the Ministry of Education hosted a joint technical working group meeting with all of its education partners in response to the grim findings of the report in order to devise and plan a way forward. It was acknowledged that the ministry had already taken some crucial steps, such as mandating remedial lessons as soon as schools reopened. But the working group agreed that these needed to be expanded and strengthened to help students catch up, with increased targeting at the most disadvantaged students who suffered the greatest learning loss. The full report and summary of findings can be found and read on UNICEF's website. Dekanin, EAC News.